Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am sure at this point I've said it far too many times, but my favorite TV show is RuPaul's Drag Race. All Star Season 6 is airing right now, and Kylie Sonique Love is one of the cast members for this season. And if you do not remember her, she is from Season 2 of Drag Race, and she has come back and is absolutely killing it. But there was one of her runways in particular that I super, super loved, and that was her Redemption runway, which was a redemption of her Lady Gaga that she did for Snatch Game on on her original season and the uh, catsuit that she wore this time around was designed by Bikala which was actually a catsuit that Lady Gaga herself actually wore so when I saw this I was like oh my god I have to try and recreate this so that's what we're gonna do today I have a bunch of fabrics to mix together I've got a pattern I'm gonna be cutting up and changing a little bit so let's get into it all right y'all so now I have all of my raw ingredients for this outfit laid out in front of me here so I have some pink velvet and you'll recognize this from my uh, one pattern three looks videos this was left over I did have to order this um, it's kind of like a burnout fabric so it is a velvety leopard print but then it doesn't have any velvet here in the middle so it's kind of like a burnout with some glitter and then you'll recognize this from last week's video this is um, some just regular pink lame all these fabrics are four-way stretch and then I just have a basic pink zipper to go in the front and then a whole bunch of these hot pink ostrich feathers and then I have some boning so let me tell you my idea for this. So I am going to be using this catsuit pattern from McCall's. This is the M27, or sorry, M7217. So here is the catsuit fully put together. So this is all black, so it's really, really hard to see the details, but this is what the finished product is going to look like. But let me also show you on the back, this teeny tiny little, um, picture right here. So this kind of is a better example of what the cat suit's gonna actually look like. So first and foremost, to start this project off, the very, very first thing I'm gonna do is I need to get this pattern figured out. So this is gonna be the most technical part of this because I need to make sure that everything lines up correctly. So I'm pretty sure the pattern pieces for this, the sleeve pattern piece is just one piece, which makes it a lot easier. But I think the leg pieces are front and back. So the way that I'm kind of envisioning it is that I want it to have one kind of fabric coming down and then some sort of graphical element. I'm not really sure. I don't want it to just be straight. I want it to have some sort of like maybe slanted or something. This part will be shiny and then we'll have the bottom part will be the darker velvet. So it'll be leopard print, shiny, and then darker. And that'll be the, the case on both arms. And then I also want to do it on the legs as well. So that will be the trickiest part for today. I'm going to figure out exactly how I need to cut the pattern so that when I put it back together with the different fabrics, it all lines up correctly. And we also have to add in seam allowance for those fabrics as well. So we're going to have a little bit of some math to start off with here. All right, so I've gone through and pulled out the pattern piece for the sleeves and then I have the two pattern pieces for the legs. So, and I also have some pattern paper that you could get from like a fabric store. This is like if you wanted to self draft your own patterns, it's just like a kind of clothy, papery material that's got grid on it. So this is what I'm gonna use to transfer these pattern pieces onto because I don't wanna mess up the original pattern piece because I would love to be able to use this pattern again and again and again. So because I'm gonna be cutting this up and I'm gonna cut the pattern pieces into smaller pieces, I'm gonna trace them first onto this pattern paper and then cut the pattern paper instead of cutting the original piece. So I'm gonna start with the sleeve because I'm honestly extremely intimidated by the pants. So I'm gonna start with the sleeve first, trace it out, and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cut it up to get the types of shapes that I'm looking for. Um, so let's go ahead and get into that real quick. Since I did the sleeve first, I took this opportunity to shorten the pattern piece as well as tracing it because nine times out of 10, the sleeve pieces are too long for me since I am so short. And make sure when you're tracing these pieces out that you include any pattern markings as you're still gonna need these when you put the cat suit together. I decided that it would look really cool if the sleeve had triangle shapes going down the side, so I folded the pattern piece in half and cut it on the diagonal to create the triangle shapes that go directly up the center of the sleeve. Next up, I did the leg pieces, and these pieces originally included a stirrup leg, but as much as Y2K fashion is coming back, this is one trend that I wanted to leave in the past. I used the notches on the inside and the outside of the leg as reference points and measured to make sure that the cuts on both leg pieces were the same distance from the notches. Then in theory, when the leg is put together and the notches are lined up, everything should match up perfectly.
All right, y'all, so I've gone through and cut out all the pieces that just had the regular pattern pieces on there. So now I need to go ahead and cut out all the pattern pieces that we cut out that are the specialty ones where we cut up the pieces to make the different patterns go together. So that's what I'm gonna cut next. The biggest thing I need to do here is I'm gonna lay it out just like I normally would, but I need to add a seam allowance where we cut the pattern pieces. So I'm just gonna take a regular ruler and I will just add a half inch of seam allowance on both edges from where we cut it. I don't need to add any on the sides because there's already seam allowance on the sides, but I do just have to add seam allowance to just like reconnect everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay all these out and cut them. And then my next step will be to put all the pieces together that were specialty. So I'll be putting the sleeve piece Pieces together to make all one sleeve piece and then putting the leg piece together to have all one leg piece and then it's just following the instructions from the pattern I am really really loving these colors together but I'm also a little bit nervous about the mixing of these patterns so just keep your fingers crossed this doesn't look like a total mess but I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut out and then we'll actually start sewing this All right, it's officially day two. I have my sleeves put together and the leg pieces put together. So this is the sleeve with all the three pieces. I'm super happy with that. And then here is one of the parts of the leg. Also super happy with that. So in theory, I'm gonna start putting this together just like you would if you were not doing anything like this with the three different fabrics, just following the packet that comes in the pattern. Now in theory, the way that I did these pattern pieces is when the legs go together, both the inside should line up and the outside should line up. Now I say in theory because I don't actually know with certainty if that is going to happen, but I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that it does. So I'm just gonna start sewing. Um, I'll let y'all know if anything weird or strange comes up or if I have to make any adjustments, but I'm thinking it should be pretty straightforward. So I will check in with y'all in a little bit. Okay y'all, so I've been sewing along and now I'm on the legs and I wanted to check in with y'all and let you know that these do line up perfectly, both inside and outside. So all the segments are lining up just right, which I'm not gonna lie, I am really, really proud of myself because I make a lot of changes to patterns, but most of the time I'm just making educated guesses. So I was not sure if this was gonna work out, but I am so thrilled that it's gonna line up on both the inside and the outside. Okay gang, so the cat suit is finished. I have it all sewn here and I am loving it. I've tried it on. I did make a couple of adjustments to the fix. It was just too baggy around the midsection. So I just took the side seams in. Easy peasy. Super happy with how the colors came together. I was feeling a little iffy about how the dark velvet was going to combine with the leopard print and the shiny material, but I think it looks amazing. I'm super excited. So now this is the fun part. We're going to be adding all the little pieces that have the feathers on the end to actually like, you know, give it the flourish. So to do that, I'm going to be using some boning. Now this is boning from just uh, Joann's, like a regular fabric store, and this is plastic boning. So this is boning that you can sew through. And basically the reason why I thought this would be good is because when you hold it up, it just very perfectly is very springy. So I'm gonna cut this into sections and then I'm gonna be making casings for this to cover it out of the shiny um, pink lame fabric. So I'm gonna cut this into sections. Let's see how long I need this to be. I'll probably do foot long sections. Let's see, that's a foot. Foot? Probably do, yeah, I think a foot should be long enough. So I'm gonna do foot long sections of this. I bought four yards of it. I think that should be enough. If I end up needing more, I'll let y'all know, but four yards is what I've got here. And then I have these beautiful hot pink ostrich feathers that I got on Amazon. So I think what I'm gonna do for these is I don't wanna use the whole, um, I don't wanna just glue on the entire feather. It's gonna be way too long. So, but I don't wanna lose any of the beautiful plume of this. So I think I'm going to cut the feather in half and then stack it. So I'll stack the top piece onto the bottom piece and then all of this will just get glued onto the end of the uh, boning and that's gonna give it the springiness. So that is what we're doing. Um, I will talk y'all through how I'm doing this because I haven't attempted it yet. This is all hypothetical in my head. So I'll let y'all know how I end up doing everything and I will see y'all at the end for the reveal. 
All right, so to make our feathery dudes, I started by sectioning off the boning into 14 inch pieces. I decided that the extra two inches would just be better for my intended final look. And then I cut out strips of fabric that were 14 inches long and one and a half inches wide. The boning itself is half inch wide and I needed a teensy bit of seam allowance to make the casings. Oh, and I did end up needing quite a bit more boning than I originally thought. So I would get a minimum of nine yards if you attempt this project. I then sew the casings with right sides together down the open side and flip them right sides out and I just used a pencil to flip them because it's just what I had on hand and the eraser was actually a perfect grip for the fabric. Once the casing was complete, I ran the boning through it and luckily the seam lined up right along the bottom of the boning perfectly so you can't see any seams on the casings when I have the garment on. And to prep these guys to go onto the catsuit, I stapled the casing shut at the end where the feather was going to be glued. And I did this out of pure laziness, but you honestly can't see the staple at all, so I have no regrets. And then finally to attach them, I used the widest setting of the zigzag stitch that my machine can do and then just went back and forth on the bottom two inches of the boning to securely attach them to the catsuit. All right, y'all, so before we get to the grand reveal, I want to just say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that it inspired you to try something new or different or just have some fun. Fashion is supposed to be fun. So enjoy the reveal and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.